Hello everyone. My name is Samir and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. In this session, we'll take a look at object and access list optimization using the Cisco firewall migration tool and how we can use it during config migration. Having a firewall rule set which is both precise and easy to manage is important to protect your network, just like you use walls to protect a fort. But most of the times, to support operations, a lot of rules get added which might either not be required or could be added in a more efficient way. Now this may result in a rule set which is taxing on memory and CPU and becomes very difficult to manage. Firewall migration tool by Cisco assists in your journey of moving from ASU to FTD by migrating objects, NAT, access lists, interfaces and several other elements of the configuration to FTD. In addition, it also provides the option to not migrate unreferenced objects and with the latest 2.5 version of the release. It also assists in optimizing the access control list before moving it to the FTP, thereby providing the same security with a more efficient and organized tool set. Unreferenced objects in ASU are network and service objects which are created but not used in any of the configuration elements. Hence, they are safe to be removed by migration causing no functional impact and will also help save money. Now the access list optimization module covers two checks, shadow and redundant rules. Shadow rules identify rules for traffic that are already covered by another rule, thereby making these rules unused and hence safe to be removed. In this example, all traffic that would hit rule 11 is already covered by rule 1, hence making rule 11 safe to be removed. Redundant rules identify rules that are mirror images of each other, so the second entry will never match any traffic and hence is safe to be removed. In this example, rule 2 and rule 22 are the same, making rule 22 unnecessary and then safe to be removed with no functional impact. As a result of this optimization, instead of migrating 4 rules, out of which 2 are safe to be removed, FMP migrates 2 rules while maintaining the same functionality of the access list. Now let's take a look at a demo on how to use this feature on the FMP tool. We log into the tool using our credentials, start with the migration process and upload the ASU config that we need to convert. Now since this video is about the new feature of access list optimization on the tool, I will be focusing on that. To use the object optimization features, Enable the migrate only referenced object option under optimization at the select features step. We get the optimized ACL option on the review and validate access control page. To begin with the optimization process, click on the optimize ACL button at the bottom right. It gives an estimated amount of time the tool would take to carry out the process. Click on proceed to go ahead. And you get a brief summary of the total number of rules that are present, out of which how many are redundant, shadowed, and unique. On completion, a list of redundant and shadow rules are displayed on different tabs. The rules in the list contains the rule name, its attributes, and the rule that it is redundant to. Similarly, with the shadow ACLs, it contains the rule name, its attributes such as the zone, network, and port and the rule that it is shadowed by. For a more detailed report, we can download the CSV file from the page. The file contains a summary of the rules along with a list of all the rules that are shadowed by it or a list of all the rules that are redundant to it. It also contains a detailed report of all the rules included in the optimization process. This highlights the base rule on the basis of which the rules are either categorized as shadow rule or redundant rule. Post validation, there are two options for actions to take on the access rules. You can choose to not migrate these rules at all to FTP or migrate them as disabled. And these options can be taken on all the rules at once or can be chosen individually for each use based on requirement. Once the action has been set for both redundant and shadow rules, 
we can click on confirm action to save our changes. We get a prompt stating that the ACLs were optimized successfully and the rules on which actions were taken in the previous page appeared grayed out in the access policy that will be pushed to the FMC. Navigate to the networks object page to see the objects that will be created by the tool. It can be seen that only the reference objects are present in the list and the same can be observed for both objects when struck 25 objects that were present in the ASA configuration. 17 will be created as they are referenced. Proceed with the validation process and then proceed with pushing the configuration to the FMC. On completion, we get an update that the migration was complete and the policy was pushed, and we also get an update on the optimization that was done. More detail of which can be obtained by downloading the post migration report from the tool. The post migration report is a comprehensive report of all the configuration elements that are migrated to Firepower Management Center based on the options selected by user. The ACL optimization section of the report will provide a summary of the rules that are considered for optimization and what actions were selected for those rules regarding the migration for both shadow ACLs and redundant ACLs. The report also contains a list of access rules that the user chose not to migrate for your reference and further validation. The same report contains the list of network and port objects that were not migrated by the tool as part of the optimization process since they were not referenced in any supported configuration element. So with this, we have covered the object and access test optimization feature overview on firewall migration tool. I hope this was useful to you and thank you for watching.